at Holy Communion time, if the people in the main aisle would do this, we have marks on the, in the aisle that are six feet apart. So if you would just go from one to the other, and when you get to the front here, there probably will be three people giving out Holy Communion. Uh, we have sanitizers there, and uh, you can sanitize your hand, but receive in the hand, and uh, you come, receive communion, and go all the way around the other way, come back to your seat. Okay? Para recibir la comunión, uh, puede estar en una distancia de seis, seis pies a dos metros y recibe en la mano. Y cuando está aquí, tenemos una, una sanación de, de, sus, de sus manos uh, aquí enfrente. Bienvenidos.
Good morning and welcome to St. Patrick's Cathedral for this ordination mass. As we begin, we invite you to rise and to join in singing the entrance hymn printed in English and Spanish on page five of your program, Lift High the Cross. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. So that we might the more worthily enter into these saving mysteries, the sacrament of the Blessed Eucharist, the sacrament of holy orders, the more worthily we call to mind our sins and ask for the mercy of Jesus. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to life everlasting. Kiri.
gloria in excelsis Deo, et in terra pax hominibus, one voluntatis, laudamus te, benedicimus te, adoramus te, glorificamus te, gratias agimus tibi, propter maniam gloriam tuam, domine Deus rex celestis, Deus pater omnipotens, domine fili unigenite, Exteram patris, miserere nobis, quoniam tu solus sanctus, tu solus dominus, tu solus altissimus, Iesu Christe, cum sancto pray. Lord our God, who in governing your holy people make use of the ministry of priests, grant a persevering obedience to your holy will to these deacons of your church, whom you graciously choose today for the office of the priesthood, so that by their ministry and life they may gain glory for you in Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Lectura del libro del profeta Jeremías. En tiempo de Joseas, el Señor me dirigió estas palabras. Desde antes de formarte en el seno materno, te conozco. Desde antes de que nacieras, te consagré como profeta para las naciones. Yo, lo, yo le contesté, pero Señor mío, yo no sé expresarme porque apenas soy un muchacho. El Señor me dijo, no digas que eres un muchacho, pues irás a donde yo te envíe y dirás lo que yo te mande. No tengas miedo, porque yo estoy contigo para protegerte. Palabra del Señor. El Señor extendió entonces su brazo, con su mano me tocó la boca y me dijo, Desde hoy pongo mis palabras en tu boca. Palabra de Dios. Go out to all the world and teach all nations. Alleluia. Go out to all the world and 
teach all nations. Alleluia. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all you lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Go out to all the world and teach all nations. Alleluia. Proclamemos su amor día tras día. Su grandeza anunciemos a los pueblos, de nación en nación, sus maravillas. Go out to all the world and teach all nations. Alleluia. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm, not to be moved. He governs the peoples with equity. Go out to all the world and teach all nations. Alleluia. you my friends says the Lord for I have made known to you all that the Father has told me Alleluia 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 The Lord be with you and, and with your, your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went around to all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom, and curing every disease and illness. At the sight of the crowds, his heart was moved with pity for them, because they were troubled and abandoned, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
let those to be ordained priests come forward. For the Archdiocese of New York, Reverend Mr. Luis Silva. Present. For the Idente missionaries, Reverend Brother Roland Pereira. Present. Most Reverend Father, Holy Mother Church asks you to ordain these, our brothers, to the responsibility of the priesthood. Father Cleary, do you know them to be worthy? After inquiry among the Christian people and upon the recommendation of those responsible, I testify that they have been found worthy. Relying then on the help of the Lord God and of our Savior Jesus Christ, we indeed choose these, our brothers, for the order of the priesthood. Thanks, Thanks be, to God. be to God. Bravo, bravo. What do you got? Do I keep this on and do I A couple of uh, weeks ago, reading, reading a newspaper from another diocese, I noted the headline, Priestly Ordinations Take Place Under Extraordinary Circumstances. That word extraordinary, of course, in the present climate, means ordination under the strict constraints of the pandemic. So Luis and Roland, yes, we can term your ordination this morning to be extraordinary because of COVID-19. Yet I propose to you, I propose to you and to all of us that the ordination to the sacrament of holy orders, wherever, whenever, however, to whomever, is always extraordinary. Matter of fact, it is supernatural. It is downright miraculous. The support of parents and families in bringing these two men to the altar is extraordinary, even if Sadly, many members of the Silva and Pereira families are unable to be with us in person. We're strongly united with them. And hear us say, thank God. Thank God for your indispensable part in bringing these two men to this sacred moment. Gracias. Gracias, queridas familias, por el regalo de sus hijos y hermanos a Jesucristo y su iglesia como sacerdotes. The priestly preparation given these two, Roland and Luis, by our excellent seminaries, by the Idente missionaries, has been extraordinary. And we praise God for our seminaries, for Father Cleary and Father Sears, the first-rate faculty, for Father Luis, the Superior General of the Idente, and Father Robert Badillo and the entire Idente community. Extraordinary has been the formation you've given these two. Oh, the affirmation rendered by so many priests and parishes, religious women, faithful Catholics, my brother bishops here present, Bishop, Bishop Walsh and Bishop Colachico, and Bishop Byrne and Bishop Whalen, 
The affirmation rendered by all of you has been extraordinary. And most radiantly, the grace of God, evident this morning in the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, is miraculous. Thank God for the blessing of being part of something so supernatural, so miraculous, so extraordinary. In a particular way, I'd like to welcome Bishop-elect Romeo, a member of the Idente Missionaries, who on Monday, please God, will be ordained an Auxiliary Bishop for the Diocese of Rockville Center. Unless you want to stay here, Bishop, you'd be welcome. Congratulations and welcome, Bishop Romeo. God's Holy Word this morning provides a biology, a biology of the priesthood. Heart, hands, feet, mouth. Heart, hands, feet, mouth. Heart, the most sacred heart of Jesus, the eternal high priest, was moved. Did you notice in this morning's gospel, moved at the sight of sheep without a shepherd? And so Jesus, the good shepherd, gives us two new ones this morning, Roland and Luis. Today, you undergo a heart transplant as your own is replaced with the tender heart of Christ, the Good Shepherd. Hands. Jeremiah assures us that the Lord extends his hand to you as you now have the beautiful hands of a priest soon to be anointed with freshly consecrated chrism. Feet. Jesus went around to all the towns and villages, the gospel reports. Your feet will now be on the move constantly in, as Pope Francis extols, joyful missionary discipleship. Feet walking streets, alleys, halls, funeral parlors, sanctuaries, hospitals, prisons, campuses, steps, neighborhoods as priests. And mouths. I place my words in your mouth. The Lord promises Jeremiah. And that's what he does this morning for you, Luis and Roland. Heart, hands, feet, mouths, no longer ordinary, but extraordinary, supernatural, miraculous. Father of all consolation, who willed to heal the infirmities of the weak 
through your Son, listen favorably to the prayer of faith. Send forth from the heavens, we pray, your Holy Spirit, the paraclete, upon this oil of the sick in all its richness. Oil you have graciously brought forth from the verdant tree to restore the body so that by your holy blessing, everyone anointed with this oil as a safeguard for the body, soul, and spirit may be freed from all pain, all infirmity, and all sickness. May your holy oil, O Lord, be blessed by you for our sake. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> Thanks. O oh God, strength and protection of your people, you have made the oil you created a sign of strength. Graciously bless this oil and grant courage to the catechumens who will be anointed with it so that receiving divine wisdom and power, they may understand more deeply the gospel of your Christ. They may undertake with a generous heart the labors of a Christian life and made worthy of adoption as your sons and daughters, they may rejoice to be born anew and to live in your church through Christ our Lord. Shall we stand for the consecration of the sacred chrism? Which is the shard of Let us pray, dear brothers and sisters, to God the Almighty Father, that he bless and sanctify this oil, so that all who are outwardly anointed with it may be inwardly transformed and come to share in eternal salvation. O God, author of the sacraments and bestower of life, we give thanks for your ineffable goodness, for in the ancient cov covenant you foreshadowed the mystery of the sanctifying oil. And in the fullness of time you willed that it might shine forth uniquely in your beloved Son. And when your Son, our Lord, had saved the human race through the Paschal mystery, he filled your church with the Holy Spirit and wonderfully endowed her with heavenly gifts so that through her the work of salvation in the world might be brought to completion. And from that time onward, through the mystery of chrism, you so bestowed the riches of your grace upon all humanity that your sons and daughters, born again in the cleansing waters of baptism, are strengthened by the anointing of the Spirit and conformed to your Christ they share his prophetic, priestly, and kingly office. Therefore, we beseech you that by the power of your grace, this mingling of fragrance and oil may become for us the sacrament of your blessing. Pour out in abundance the gifts of the Holy Spirit upon our brothers and sisters anointed with this sacred oil. Adorn with the splendor of holiness the places and things signed by this sacred oil. But above all, by the mystery of this oil, bring to completion the growth of your church until she reaches that measure of fullness in which you, resplendent with eternal life, will be all in all with Christ and the Holy Spirit forever and ever Amen.
mind, fellas. Now what do I do, Stan? Okay. This uh, promise of our two candidates is always a special moment. It has an added significance today as I have invited all of our priests throughout the Archdiocese, sadly unable to be here physically, but by the hundreds with us on live stream to renew their own priestly promises as we usually do at the Mass of Chrism during Holy Week. So Roland and Luis, you're kind of, you're representing all of us. Dear sons, before you enter the order of the priesthood, you must declare before the people your intention to undertake this office. Do you resolve, with the help of the Holy Spirit, to discharge without fail the office of priesthood in the presbyteral rank as worthy fellow workers with the ardor of bishops and caring for the Lord's flock? Brother Priest, you can answer too. Do you resolve to exercise the ministry of the word worthily and wisely preaching the gospel and teaching the Catholic faith? Do you resolve to celebrate faithfully and reverently in accord with the church's tradition, the mysteries of Christ, especially the sacrifice of the Eucharist and the sacrament of reconciliation for the glory of God and the sanctification of the Christian people? Do you resolve to implore with us God's mercy upon the people entrusted to your care by observing the command to pray without ceasing? Do you resolve to be united more closely every day to Christ, the eternal high priest, who offered himself for us to the Father as a pure sacrifice, and with him to consecrate yourselves to God for the salvation of all? Do you promise respect and obedience to me and my successors? May God, who has begun this good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Do you promise respect and obedience to the diocesan bishop and to your legitimate superior? May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. My dear people, let us now pray that God, the all-powerful Father, will pour out abundantly the gifts of heaven upon these his servants whom he has chosen for the office of priest. Let us kneel. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Christ, have mercy, Christ, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Our Lady of Guadalupe, our Lady of the Mystical Life, Saint Michael, Holy Angels of God, Saint John the Baptist, Saint Joseph, Saint Peter and Saint Paul, 
Saint Andrew, Saint John, Saint Timothy, Saint Mary Magdalene, Saint Stephen, Saint Ignatius of Antioch, Saint Lawrence, Saint Perpetua and Saint Felicity, Saint Agnes, Saint Gregory, Saint Augustine, Saint Athanasius, Saint Basil, Saint Martin, Saint Patrick, Saint Raphael Gisari Valencia, Saint Benedict, Saint Roland, Saint Francis and Saint Dominic, Saint Francis Xavier, Saint John Vianney, Saint Catherine of Siena, Saint Teresa of Jesus, all holy men and women, saints of God. Lord, be merciful. Lord, deliver us, we pray, from all evil. Lord, deliver us, we pray, from every sin. From everlasting death, by your incarnation, by your death and resurrection, by the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, be merciful to us sinners. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Govern and protect your holy church. Keep the Pope and all the ordained in faithful service to your church. Bless these chosen men. Bless and sanctify these chosen men. Bless, sanctify, and consecrate these chosen men. Bring all peoples together in peace and true harmony. Comfort with your mercy the troubled and the afflicted. Strengthen all of us and keep us in your holy service. Jesus, Son of the living God, Christ, hear us, Christ, hear us, Christ, graciously hear us, Christ, graciously hear us. Hear us, we beseech you, Lord our God, and pour out upon these servants of yours that blessing of the Holy Spirit and that power of the priestly grace that those whom in the sight of your mercy we offer to be consecrated may be surrounded by your rich and unfailing gifts through Christ our Lord. Let us stand.
Veni Creator Spiritus, mentes tuorum visita, imple superna gratia, que tu creasti pectora. Paraclitus, donum dei altissimi, ons vivus in his caritas, et spirita lis Septi for me is munere, dextre dei tu digitus, tu rite promisum patris, sermone ditan scutura. Sensibus, in fundi amorem cordibus, in firma nostri corporis, virtute firmans perpeti. Ostem repelas longius, pacem quedones protinus, ductores sicte previo, 
Vitemus omne noxium, per te sciamusta patrem, nos camus atque filium, te utriusque spiritum, Credamus omni tempore. Amen. Draw near, O Lord, Heavenly Father, Almighty and Eternal God, author of human dignity, it is you who apportion all graces. Through, through you, everything progresses. Through you, all things are made to stand firm. To form a priestly people, you appoint ministers of Christ, your Son, by the power of the Holy Spirit, arranging them in different orders. Already in the earlier covenant, offices arose, established through mystical rites. When, when you set Moses and Aaron over your people to govern and sanctify them, you chose men next in rank and dignity to accompany them and assist them in their task. So too in the desert, you implanted the spirit of Moses in the hearts of 70 wise men. And with their help, he ruled your people with greater ease. And so also upon the sons of Aaron, you poured an abundant share in their father's plenty, that the number of the priests prescribed by the law might be sufficient for the sacrifices of the tabernacle, which were a shadow of the good things to come. But in these last days, Heavenly Father, you sent your Son into the world, Jesus who is apostle and high priest of our confession. Through the Holy Spirit, he offered himself to you as a spotless victim, and he made his apostles consecrated in the truth, sharers in his mission. You provided them also with companions to proclaim and carry out the work of salvation throughout the whole world. And now we beseech you, Lord, in our weakness to grant us these helpers that we need, to exercise the priesthood that comes from the apostles. Grant, we pray, Almighty Father, to these, your servants, the dignity of the priesthood. Renew deep within them the spirit of holiness. May they henceforth possess this office, which comes to you, which comes from you, O God, and is next in rank to the office of the bishop. And by the example of their manner of life, may they instill right conduct. May they be worthy co-workers with our ardor so that by their preaching and through the grace of the Holy Spirit, the words of the gospel may bear fruit in human hearts and reach even to the ends of the earth. Together with us, may they be faithful steward of your mysteries so that your people may be renewed in the waters of rebirth, nourished from your altar, that sinners may be reconciled and the sick raised up. May they be joined with us, Lord, in imploring your mercy for the people entrusted to their care and for all the world. And so may the full number of all the nations gathered together in Christ be transformed into your one people and made perfect in your kingdom through our Lord, Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever.
be caritas et amor, Deus ibi est, ubi caritas et amor, Deus ibi est, congregavit nos in Christi amor, exultemus et in ipso iucundemur, timeamus et amemus teum vivum, et ex corde Lord Jesus Christ, whom the Father anointed with the Holy Spirit and power, guard and preserve you, that you may sanctify the Christian people and offer sacrifice to God. Lord Jesus Christ, whom the Father anointed with the Holy Spirit and power, guard and preserve you, that you may sanctify the Christian people and offer sacrifice to God. Father Luis, receive the oblation of the holy people to be offered to God. Understand what you do, imitate what you celebrate, and conform your life to the mystery of the Lord's cross. Father Roland, receive the oblation of the holy people to be offered to God. 
Understand what you do, imitate what you celebrate, and conform your life to the mystery of the Lord's cross. and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. O God, who have willed that your priests should minister at the holy altar and serve your people, grant by the power of this holy sacrifice, we pray, that the labors of your servants may constantly please you and in your church bear that fruit which lasts forever through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, 
our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Heavenly Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, you made your only begotten Son High Priest of the new and eternal covenant. And by your wondrous design, we're pleased to decree that his one priesthood should continue in your church. For Christ not only adorns with the royal priesthood the people he has made his own, but with a brother's kindness, he also chooses men to become sharers in his sacred ministry through the laying on of hands. They are to renew in his name the sacrifice of human redemption, to set before your children the Paschal banquet, to lead your holy people in charity, to nourish them with your holy word, and strengthen them with the sacraments. As they give up their lives for you and for the salvation of their brothers and sisters, they strive to be conformed to the image of Christ himself and offer you a constant witness of faith and love. So, Lord, with all the angels and saints of heaven, we too give you thanks as in exultation we acclaim. Merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world. Together with your servant Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, my auxiliary bishops, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them, we offer you the sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves, and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmas and Damian, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be de de defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, which we make to you, also for these your servants, whom you have been pleased to raise to the ardor of priesthood. 
and in your mercy keep safe your gifts in them, so that what they have received by divine commission they may fulfill by divine assistance. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect, make it spiritual and acceptable, that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. Mortem tuum annunciamus Domine et tuum resurrectionem confitemur donec venias. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you've given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the Just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants, who have gone before us with a sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, Hope in your abundant mercies. Graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your servants, saints, Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon, through Christ our Lord. Through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, you bless them and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 
at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, we are saved. Sanctificetur nomen tu, adveni ad regnum tu, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cielo et in terra, panem nostrum quotidianum da nobis odie, et imite nobis debita nostra sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris et ne nos inducas in tentatione sed libera nos a malo Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Qui atum est regnum et potestas et gloria in secula. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Alleluia, 
Alleluia. Please join in singing the bilingual English and Spanish communion hymn printed on page 19 of your program, Hidden Here Before Me. Give me what 
I thirst for. Give me what I ask. Let me see your glory in a blaze of light. And instead of blindness, give me, Lord, I May the divine sacrifice we have offered and received, O Lord, give new life to your priests and to all your servants, that united to you in unfailing love, they may receive the grace of giving worthy service to your majesty through Christ our Lord. Fathers, before I give the final blessing, could I ask for yours? <clears throat> My brother bishops, would you join me for the final blessing? You're kind of rushing. The Lord be with you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Our help is in the name of the Lord. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, must ascend it. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Dulcedo, et spes nostra salve, a te clamamus, exules filiebe, a te suspiramus, gementes et flentes in ac lacrimarum vale. Ea ergo, advocata nostra, ilos tuos misericordes oculos, ad nos converte. Et Iesum benedictum frutum ventris tui, nobis post hoc exilium ostende. O clemens, O pia, Please join in singing the recessional hymn found on page 21 of your program, O God Beyond All Praising.
Through him. 